Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist, data analyst or a business analyst, then cracking the SQL entry round is a very important stage for attaining your dream job role. Myself, Emily Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies which are available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in the LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that, I have segregated the playlist into five things, namely easy, medium and hard, depending upon the difficulty of the questions, the premium level subscription questions as premium playlist questions, and all the questions combined into one single playlist as all SQL questions. The question which you are trying to solve it is type medium. Question number 1132 reported post 2. Let's see the question in action. It is already asked in Facebook for 1 to 2 years. Okay, they have given it actions table which is consisting of some particular user. If he has done any post ID, on which date he has done, what is the action it is taken and extra. Is it a spam or something like that? Okay. Similarly, okay, if it is reported, whether it is removed or not. Post to post three. Okay. Now what they are asking, write an SQL query to find the average daily percentage of posts that got removed after being reported as spam. Okay, removed after being removed as spam. Okay. Round off to two decimal digits. Okay, if you see it should be reported and also should be spam. Okay, let's see the table in action. Okay, now let's see how many are reported and also spam. If you see, uh, one minute, let me move it a bit. First one is view null, so this is not required. Second one is like null, so we don't want this also. Third one is share null, we don't want View null, we don't want this. This one, We want this one, it is reported and it's also spam, we want this. Next is view null, we don't want this. And again, report spam. Okay, this is also reported. Okay, now what is there? Next again, view null. Next again, report spam. Okay, this is also right. Next, what is there? View null. Report racism. So, we don't want this also. We want only report spam only. Okay, this is also not there. Okay. Okay, after filtering out for things, there are only three rows. One row, second row, third row. Okay, what are the post? Two, four, three. Is the post two removed? Yes, post two is removed. Is the post four removed? No, post four is not removed. Here you can see only two and three are removed. Okay, and three again is not removed. Okay, now what are the dates? There are three, two dates. 7472 right uh, am i doing right yeah 2019 0704 how many reports are there two how many of them are reported one on the 2019 0702 how many posts are there only one so this is also reported and that one thing is reported okay let's say in percentage 1 by 2 is what 50 this is what 100 what is the average for each day it is 50 plus 100 by 2 that is 75 so we will do it step by step first let's filter it out for action is equal to report and this is equal to spam from Actions table where action equal to report
and extra equal to spam okay okay we got our three rows right which we got here same three rows we got it now from this with rows what are the uh, posts which are removed let's do left join because whenever it is removed it will show whenever it's not removed it will show null okay from that let's call it something as this CT okay now from CT left to join removals okay uh, let's call it a removals capital r b now how do these things are connected a dot post id on a dot post id equal to b dot post id okay let's select it Okay, here you can see there are how many posts are there post 2 post 4 post 3 okay post 3 is reported so that is why it is shown post 4 is not reported so it is null whenever it is 3 see so what we need to do first of all we need to first group by action date for 2014 okay let's call it as some table ct2 Okay, let's take the important roles only a dot post id s a p a dot action date and we want to only what post id again b dot post id that's the bp simpler things only let's take it okay let's write it here let's write okay let's see a dot action date here you can see 2 is removed, 4 is not removed, 3 is removed. So what we will do here, we will group by action date. Okay, and what we want here, let's take action date. And we need to divide what? Sum of removed by total number of things. Total number of things, we can easily get it. Count of rows, if you keep, you will get the total number of rows, right? or let's keep count distinct it is better count distinct it can be repeated multiple times so count distinct ap now what we want here only wherever it is not null bp is not null we want so let's take sum case when bp is null then 0 else call it as 1 then what happens 2 becomes 1 null becomes 0 3 becomes 1 the sum of one here will be 1 here also sum will be 1 let's call it something 80 now you can see 2019 072 is 1 2000 this one is 04 now what we want we want average of this one let's call it ct3 Now from CTA3, select average of 80, let's call it some 80T. Okay, we got our answer 0 0.75. 
but we want in percentage so let's multiply into 100 okay we got 75 they want it uh, alias name as something average daily count okay percentage okay it got accepted let's submit it okay okay we need to round off they want only two digits round off still what's the issue 62.8 6 we are getting 61.82 Okay, we filtered for that one. After that, what we done? Left to join, we have done. Okay, clear. After that, what you have done? You grouped by action date, comma action date, comma sum of case when Okay, we want only distinct things only. Let's keep that. Okay, our solution has been accepted by the platform. We didn't take the distinct thing. That's it. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for data scientist, data analyst, or business analyst interview for the SQL round. Thanks for watching.